away the cleavage. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortmas Prime here doing another Kotobo Kia statue review on two separate pieces. We're looking at the DC Comics CW TV series Green Arrow and Flash Artifacts Plus statues. Gotta give a big thanks to Kotobo Kia for sponsoring this YouTube channel and sending out these statues over here to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Kotobo Kia and you want to pick these up, check the links in the description below. We have these very nice window box packaging right over here for both. I like that. And on the side we get the flash. And on the side we get the arrow right over there. On the very back you can see some product shots for each over there. And then we have the reverse flash coming up as well. And then we get that nice image of the flash and we have arrow right over there on the side. And then on the top it says arrow upside down. Flash uh, upside down. And then not much more on the bottom of each. So let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's both the flash and arrow statues out of the packaging. And these are both very good looking pieces. I love that they each have interchangeable parts. I think that's a very cool feature. There's even a little bit of articulation over here on the green arrow. So yeah, let's get a closer look. I'm gonna start with the flash. So I really like this masked head sculpt. I think it looks very good. I see Barry Allen underneath there. Yeah, it looks like Barry Allen. And I think the mask itself and the head, it just looks awesome. I even think they got the shape of his dome right and everything. We get some nice gold right over there on the sides. Uh, one gripe I do have with it is that it is quite shiny. You, you know, it does reflect light a lot, especially you know, like on the chest and on this head right here. So it's a little bit more reflective than I'd like it to be, but still, I think it looks really good. I like the sculpted lines right here on the back of his neck and on the top of his head. Looks really good. Then we get the alternate head sculpt right over here, and this looks awesome. Wow, I really think they captured the likeness. I can't remember the actor's name off the top of my head, but you know, you could see him compared to some images I found on Google. And doesn't this guy kind of look like Andres? No, right? You know the YouTuber Andres? I like to watch Spanish speaking YouTube channels to practice my Spanish every now and then. Uh, but yeah, looking on the side right over here, this looks really good. I mean, they have some fantastic paint detail. As I darken things up, you could see it's got a little bit of speckling, tiny hints of a five o'clock shadow. I really dig that a lot. Nice pink mixed in there with the flesh tone too. The hair looks great. I like how the mask looks right there, folded back behind his head and everything. So that's very cool. And then looking at the rest of this statue, you can see that the Flash logo. I think this is the second one, right, where it was white. So that looks really good. Get some nice black mixed in in the seams right over here. Get some very good looking texturing throughout. Same thing on the back. Looking very nice. And then there's Flash butt. Flash legs, I remember that. Texturing from the side of the legs right there. And then the knees look really good, along with the shins. And we get some more gold added to the feet right there. Not looking too shabby at all, I like it. We have some black mixed in with this very dark red, so that's pretty cool. And he does have the magnets at the bottom of his feet so that you can attach them to the Flash base, which looks fantastic. Very nice clean deco on this, you know, it's made out of metal. You hear the metal, and then we get the nice soft felt at the very bottom. And then here's a look at the arrow head sculpt compared to some images I found online. And from my recollection, it looks pretty good. I mean, I think this is a very good looking head sculpt. It looks fairly accurate. Now, I could be wrong here. I thought that the hood is supposed to be more of a green color. This looks more like of an olive green, a very, very dark green, almost brown color right over here. But it still looks pretty good. We get some nice texturing right over here up at the top. And it's the face sculpt that I actually think looks really very realistic. So I'm digging that quite a bit. Nice facial hair, the eyes look good and everything. And then looking right here on the back, you see some arrows. Uh, you can't remove these, they're all you know stuck in there, but they look really good. They're all individually sculpted at least and attached to each other one way or another. And the quiver looks great, we get some little picked out buttons and silver over here. Nice texturing and color variation over the green, you know, it's very smooth and we get some black and then we get the textured area. And then nice sculpted detail right here for these shoulder pads. And then on the front, I really like all the details that we're seeing right over here. So that's very cool. I guess these are different arrowheads. I think that's pretty sweet. Very nice looking jacket. Nice zipper right there. Again, flesh tone looks very good. Again, with Kotobukiya doing this light speckling over here. I like that a lot. And looking at the forearm guard right over there, looks really nice. Legs look pretty good. It's got some mini arrows stowed away right there on the hips. And very nice, very leathery looking suit. Boots and everything look good right here. Yeah. Now I tried getting into this show. 
but I only lasted like five episodes in. But yeah, The Flash, I'm really all about The Flash, even though I still need to catch up with season three. I'm just looking at the back of the boots, the back of the leg, of course, arrow butt right in there. Yeah, his, his pants are really tight, man. Oh, and of course, he does have the magnets at the bottom of his feet right here. And then here's looking at his base. Looking pretty sweet. Does look a little pixelated right over here. I don't know. But I can't remember off the top of my head if that's how the logo is supposed to look. But yeah, very nice metallic base. And then again, we get the soft felt and copyright stuff at the very bottom. Now, a cool thing about this arrow statue is that we get interchangeable pieces. You can take this arm out right here and you can remove the hand. He only has one left hand. Then you can replace it with this other left arm and port that in. And you can go ahead and port that in and now the bow is a little bit more forward and you could rotate like this and then you can remove this right arm and then replace it with the arm that's holding the arrow looking really nice and hey guess what it's a green arrow look it it's nice and green nice little sculpted detail right there though that's pretty good but anyway and then going back right here you just push this in well I'm gonna rotate this around so it's less in the way and then yeah now you could have that facing downward and you could position this so that you know this hand is over the bow and this string right here actually does feel a bit elasticy. I like it so you can do that if you want to it actually functions and the detailed sculpt on the bow looks really cool too you know nice looking compound bow with the pulley system and all that stuff going on right here I do like it even the straps on the arms and everything look pretty good so yeah and I really do like that Kotobuki has added the function of having articulation on this wrist and this wrist right over here. That really does go a long way and help quite a bit. Now, measuring out these two statues, you can see that they're both standing at around 7 inches tall, with Arrow definitely being just a little bit taller than Flash. Then comparing these Artifacts Plus statues to their comic book versions, we have the Artifacts Plus Green Arrow statue, and then we have the Kotobuki DC Super Heroes Classic Flash right over there. And I don't know if you noticed before, but you can have both of these statues stand without their respective bases, even though I don't recommend that, it's much better to have them on their magnetic bases. But anyway, here's both of them compared to your average 6 inch scale figure, the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. And here's both statues once again with their alternate display options. Now, even though I'm a bigger fan of the Flash show than the Arrow show, I gotta say I do like the Arrow statue a little bit more. I guess you get the interchangeable parts and there's articulation right there. Even though I do think this Flash looks very good and it looks like he just showed up, right? Like he just whooshed in. I forgot what the name for that was. Kevin Smith had mentioned it when he directed an episode. But yeah, both very good pieces. Again, these are sold individually, so they don't come in a paired set like this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the statues. Let me know what you think of the review. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it should be up at toynewseye.com. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and and Instagram links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. Hey, new Shard Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.